we are going to take an expanded look at our accounting equation. And our accounting equation is assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. And so the asset accounts, we said that we increase those on the debit side and we decrease them on the credit side but its normal balance is going to be on the debit side. When we go to the other side of the equation, it flips and then we increase liabilities and the capital account on the credit side and that's where their normal balances should be. We mentioned that there are uh, four ways that owner's equity can be impacted. Uh, by the owner's investment, that would increase it so we would increase that on the credit side. And the other way is through revenues. So our revenue account here, we have it set up in AT account. We would increase that with a credit balance or a, a credit amount that's going to increase revenues. And the impact of increasing revenues, you see underneath the capital is that it's going to affect the credit side and it's going to increase capitals. There are two ways that we can decrease the owner's equity. One way to decrease it is through expenses. Now expenses, we would increase those on the debit side. By increasing the expenses here, the impact is going to be a debit to the capital eventually, and that's going to show a decrease to the capital. The other way to decrease owner's equity is through a withdrawal. And for a sole proprietorship, we would say something like Jim Smith drawing as uh, showing the account that we're going to use to monitor um, the owner's withdrawals through the year. And like expenses, we're going to increase the drawing account on the debit side. And by increasing this debit, in essence, is going to be reducing the capital. The impact is going to be on the uh, debit side of the capital account, which is going to be a decrease uh, to the owner's equity. Um, there's a, a little saying that um, you may want to remember and it may help you kind of uh, keep these rules in check. After eating dinner, let's read comics. The A stands for assets, the E stands for expense, and the D stands for the drawing account. Because they are on the left side of the comma, if you view this as a, a giant T account, it means that we increase assets, we increase expenses, and we increase the drawing account on the left side, or the debit side. On this side of our saying, let's read comics. The L stands for liabilities, the R stands for revenue, and the C stands for the capital. We increase these accounts on the right side of our saying, this right of the comma, or in accounting we say we increase that on the credit side. Hopefully those rules will help you to remember where we increase those accounts and where their normal balances should be.